Hello! It's so, 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 so great to be able to send you this video and I'm going to be reading you a story just like we do in the classroom and this story is called Monkey Puzzle. Now I know that some of you have already wrote down your predictions and what you think might happen in the story just from looking at the cover. So here on the cover we can see the title monkey puzzle we can see that there is indeed a monkey so did you predict that the story is about the monkey hmm, let's see what else did you notice on the cover i can see a few other animals a butterfly a caterpillar and a few others hiding in the background all right, let's open up the story and see what happens to this monkey and why he doesn't look so happy on the front. Some more animals here. Let's have a look for insects too. Monkey puzzle. I've lost my mom. Hush, little monkey, don't you cry. I'll help you find her, said Butterfly. Let's have a think. How big is she? Oh, she's big. She's bigger than me, said the monkey. Bigger than you? Oh, I've seen your mum. Come, little monkey, come, come, come. No, no, no! That's an elephant! Could the elephant be his mom? Mm -mm. My mom isn't a great grey hunk. She hasn't got tusks or a curly trunk. She doesn't have great thick baggy knees and anyway her tail coils around trees. She coils around trees, a butterfly. Then she's really near. Quick, little monkey, she's over here. No, 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 says monkey. That's a snake. Mum doesn't look a bit like this. She doesn't slither around and hiss. She doesn't curl around a nest of eggs. And anyway, my mum's got more legs. How many legs does a monkey have? That's a good question. It's legs we're looking for now, you say. I know where she is. Come this way. Hmm. I wonder if we'll see the mom now. Let's see. No, no, no. That is a spider. Mom isn't black and hairy and fat. She's not got so many legs as that. She'd rather eat fruit than swallow a fly. And she lives in the treetops way up high. She lives in the trees? You should have said, your mommy's hiding above your head. No, 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 that's a parrot. Mum's got a nose, not a beak. She doesn't squawk or squabble or squeak. She doesn't have claws or feathery wings. And anyways, my mum leaps and springs. Aha! I've got it! She leaps about. She's just round the corner, without a doubt. No, 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 that's a frog. Butterfly, butterfly, please don't joke. Mum's not green and she doesn't croak. She's not all slimy, oh dear, what a muddle. She's brown and she's furry and she's nice to cuddle. Yeah, the frog doesn't look like he could be the mum or that she could be the mum. Brown fur, says Butterfly. Why didn't you tell me? 
We'll have to find her in no time. Off we go. Oh, no, no, no. That's a bat. Why do you keep on getting it wrong? Mum doesn't sleep the whole day long. I told you she's got no wings at all. And anyway, she's not nearly so small. Your mum's not little. Hmm, now let me think. She's down by the river. She's having a drink. Let's see, maybe he's got it right this time. Is it right? Oh, oh, oh no. No, no, no! Oh, that's the elephant again! Butterfly, butterfly, can't you see? None of these creatures looks like me. You never told me she looks like you. Of course I didn't. I thought you knew. I didn't know, says Butterfly. I couldn't, you see. None of my babies look like me. So can you see? There's the butterfly's babies, and the butterfly's babies don't look like butterflies, do they? Why do you think that is? That's a really good question. Why do you think that the, the butterfly's babies don't look like her? And we know that the monkey's mom must look like him. So let's see, maybe we can find her now. So she looks like you. Well, if that's the case, we'll soon discover her hiding place. It's like hide and seek to find mommy. No, no, no. That's my dad. Come, little monkey. Come, come, come. It's time to take you home to... Who could it be? Mom! There we go. Now he's finally found his mommy. And there's Butterfly as well, and Daddy Monkey too. The end. So I really hope you like the story. And there are a few questions um, that you can answer with mommy or daddy, okay? That will just help you to understand the story a little bit more. All right, so those stories are, those questions are, how do you think that monkey was feeling at the beginning of the story? And how do you know? What can you see that tells you that he's feeling this way? Now, another question is, how did monkey feel at the end of the story? Did he feel the same as, the, as at the beginning? Or did he feel different? Let me know. And how would you feel if you lost your mom? Or have you played hide and seek with your mom before? That could be fun too. At the bottom of your homework, or attached to your homework email, okay, there's a piece of paper that you can do with mommy or daddy, and it asks you to draw some of the characters in the story. So there were lots of, actually lots and lots of characters in the story. I wonder if it matched your predictions. There was a frog. What else did we see in the story? Ooh, lots and lots of characters. The elephant, the snake. So remember them and draw them. And do you think that the butterfly was very helpful? And how do you think that the monkey felt when he was lost? and draw your favorite character from the story. Okay, I really, really hope you enjoyed the story. And if you did, let me know so I can do another one next week and we can make it every week stories until we go back to school, okay? All right, everyone. Bye, I'll see you online soon.